All right, let's do some footwork. If you watched my first video, the five pillars of boxing, you know the two things you gotta remember when it comes to footwork. Toe to heel and open and close. So I'm not gonna be stepping on my heel ever, ever in boxing. And I will be opening my stance and then closing it back up as I move. When you're just starting, don't try to do the Ali shuffle or anything super fancy, one step at a time. Moving forward, one step at a time. Moving backwards, one step at a time. The point here is to get used to where you need to be. To feel that position, your stance, without having to look down and check if your feet are wide enough, if they are pointing in the right direction. So wherever you move, you want to be stable, you want to be balanced, and you want to feel strong. So, let's start with moving backwards, because I don't have much space forward. I open and I close. So moving backwards, this means right foot goes first and the left foot will follow. Do not be afraid to start slow, okay? This is really important to master. This is where it all starts. We're building every punch up from the ground, literally from the feet up. So make sure you get this right before you start punching. So moving backwards, right foot first, on the balls of my feet, left foot follows. And this is a small step. I'm going to go here and then try to bring my left foot in. Small steps, one step at a time. So right foot first, left foot follows. This is a good pace to begin, to begin with. Right foot, left foot, right foot, slide that left foot in. One, two. Once you reach the end, However far you have, you can go. Use all the space you have. When you do footwork, try to use all the space you have. If you have the whole gym for yourself, use the whole gym. If you have the ring, move around the ring. Don't be afraid. Then we move forward. So left foot first. Left foot first. Right foot follows. Slide it in. Don't take big steps. There's nothing to jump over with. Stay low. Minimal movement. Save all the energy for your punches. So left foot first. Right foot follows. Left foot first. Right foot follows. And that's it. Now you can go move back again. Then you get comfortable. Move forward again. See, I'm always here. I always end up here. I never bring my foot too close. And I never turn away and lose the direction I want to keep. And it's okay if you do. You're just starting. But this is why we have to start super slow. So you need to be able to feel where you're going to be. For me this is very easy because I've been doing it for 10 plus years. So I do feel where I need to be. But sometimes you do need to look down. But this is why we practice. Okay? So really slow. Once you master backwards and forward, then we're going to move sideways. When I move to the left, left foot goes first. The right foot will follow. And when I move right, right foot goes first. And the left foot will follow. And this is the perfect pace when you start. Then, when you get more comfortable, they can speed it up a bit and then it's going to start looking a bit more like a shuffle rather than stepping really slowly. So then it's going to look like this, moving back, shuffling right, moving forward, moving back, moving to the left, moving to the right. But as you can see, if you slow down the video, I'm still doing the same, same exact movement, right foot, left foot, open and close, stepping on the balls of my feet, except I'm doing it a bit faster. Staying on the balls of my feet will allow me to be fast, to move in any direction. But if I'm too much stuck to the floor, if my heels are done, or if I want to step heel first, that's not going to work. So that's why you need to keep the two very important rules of footwork in mind. Toe to heel and open and close. 